begins for a new Texas law to save young lives. Now, one family's tragedy could lead to lasting change. It is the first day Texas lawmakers can file the bills for the upcoming legislative session. At last check, there were more than 470 filed today, and one of the proposed bills targets cyberbullying and the people hiding behind the screen. Tonight, KXAN's Amanda Brandeis learned more about the bill and the story behind it. Uh, my, my daughter, Isabella, uh, she, she committed suicide on August 30th of this year. And they said that God made a horrible mistake when he made Matthew harassed him, they uh, threatened him, and took him to a point where he felt that there was no more hope. Bullying has no boundaries. It can happen in the child's bedroom. They feel powerless and humiliated in front of hundreds and thousands of people because it can be shared so many times. And so Matt and Maureen Molak lost their son to suicide in January. In his mind, he was, he was hated. And, um, and from that point, he was just not the same. While David is no longer here, they want his legacy to live on. A change that, that is long overdue. State Senator Jose Menendez is one of the sponsors for David's law, which will require school districts to create policies about cyberbullying and strengthens punishments. It gives police law enforcement the ability to subpoena records and go in and find out, you know, who, what, who, who did this anonymous thing. While bullies could face a misdemeanor or charge for electronically bullying someone, what lawmakers really want is to get them help. How do we get to these aggressors before they become worse? We want to be able to say we did something about it. The Molax say this is just the beginning of David's legacy of change and kindness. Amanda Brandeis, KXAN News. This proposed bill will also require school districts to develop a system to anonymously report bullying and threats. Lawmakers say right now there is not any dedicated funding for this measure, but they could ask for it later on during the session. We checked with local school districts to see which ones have policies in place to let people report bullying anonymously. Round Rock ISD uses an app that allows anonymous reports. Austin ISD tells us, in theory, people can report bullying anonymously, but doing so hampers their investigation. Eanes ISD tells us they do not have an anonymous reporting system. Several